podcast will play they uh, play at four a las cuatro de la tarde juega orcas contra el equipo australiano de uh, unit okay Divide. it's going perfect now okay. we need to switch down exactly here we are in the game molde has the ball molde is in blue the again no. university in from white. going direct attack although it is defend well with a couple of guys from Aggie University what the um, the other teams is it right spelled Aggie University yes Aggie, right. Aggie okay. University Aggie right I mean Aggie is enough the people know the team okay. or if you don't know it because Molder. the first time watching they attacking have and there was the other guy now Aggie University defended well like catch the ball It is really fast. We Quick. have now a counter-attack and uh, we can see the other goal. Um, the technicians are also like catching up. <laughs> we are here. The captain coming. has the ball is Perfect. coming. Passing in the middle. Coming. Yeah. They have and three now, players yeah. against two. The number oh, two has yeah. it and is under the goal. The ball flipped through the fingers. Otherwise it would have been a dangerous situation. Oh, oh okay. and now we see nothing anymore. For a second there. Green we are back. Is back. But there this was is no to create when some more adrenaline, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just to create more anxiety. More okay. in attack again. Oh. Nearly two minutes played and going back forth, back forth. Really high pressure. Yes, I mean, those, I mean, strong game. Norway is a top team, have been winning the Champions Cup like on a roller for 10 times until uh, last year when they lost um, and the uh, Orcas uh, Colombian team won. So mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Molde right. is uh, one of the top three. And uh, if they're missing some key players, and uh, the Turkish team has always been challenging the play on the Euroleague. So let's see, I mean, it is a faster and more body contact oh, uh, no. game. We are Uh, so we don't see. Now we are missing. Okay, now we are, mm. and the uh, mole is under. Very is attack, Is attacking, and they just score the one goal. We we didn't see the process how they got the goal. We just saw the goal. So yeah. it's one zero for mole, and it's within the first three minutes of the game. But I think everything is open. Everything is possible still. I mean, normally, um, if you take the, a look to the statistics of the last years, then Molde is a, the stronger team. If you look, normally, Turkish finish in the middle, and Molde always won. But mm. if we consider that are missing some key players, and that maybe again now has you know again another year of experience, and it took them three minutes to score, maybe there's still. Uh, I always think. I mean, things are always open. Are always open and, and, and they're still fighting yep is that the strategy of the molder team always like making the goal in the very beginning mm -hmm. that's norway strategic that they like to do try to surprise you uh, and do it so you need to be very yeah. very careful in the first minutes because they put like yeah. a, oh See, it can be different so it it is also like not starting slowly but consequently and then when you learn a little bit the game the day feel the situation then the team speeds up that's all we often always to see but more they're still defending well and then doing the counter now this is dangerous now we have counter attack from Molde. normally it's yeah. difficult to survive that and that's a goal yeah they're so quick they're really very very precise turn. they know exactly what they do and choose Absolutely. zero But I like, I mean, the Turkish team are doing a good job, actually, and uh, they need to be a bit more careful and really stop and do more forechecking, because otherwise um, the counter-attack, if they go straight, then are difficult to stop from the Norwegian team. So, um, let's see, we have the white team of Ege University, Turkish team, in attack. And uh, they have a chance. the captain is right under the goal, is passing the ball. 
how can they, and they stay and like, yep this they stay on the bottom they just stay possible and still are there in their position don't leave so it was a chance for the white team to maybe score now because they're passing yeah, well, from the one right to the other, from the to one to the other. To be honest, as you have been right under the basket of, of Molde, it doesn't mean that you will miss <laughs> It's just as oh, it's a so better position than being underneath right. your basket. <laughs> but they're so good defenders. I mean, it's like, but uh, and I you see that they are okay. very good well and, and just letting them come, yeah. defend, get the ball and do counter attack. That's the tactic yeah. they use. So you need to be very careful by doing those passes because otherwise it's deadly. So yeah. let's see. We have uh, the Turkish team in the middle field, uh, or they can just lost the ball. But I'm optimistic. They are doing really yes. well. I predict zero. Okay. They did. I mean, they're putting up a, a, a great match and a great fight. But the problem with Molde, they're so experienced that every little mistake you do, you pay the bill. Advantage. It's a goal. Okay. It's a goal. I mean, there's yeah, no. They're deadly, really. And well, also, what was said is uh, it is a really good training now you want to win in such a tournament or it, it's really experiencing the other team as well you don't do the mistakes or you maybe think about your strategy again and change something in the training but they are quite nice i think there are i'm optimistic there are surprises in well Absolutely. they have played many years in the euroleague so they know each other also from the euroleague the only thing is i don't know if we have the full team that normally play in the Euroleague or there's different no. players involved. Different players, so I think that so. makes a difference. Maybe new players as well. If I don't know if it's a little bit loud from this was another goal. Mm. Four zero now. Like Do we have uh, Turkish fans and uh, Norwegian fans watching? Camera should be faster. Not sure if we mm. can give that information over. Yes, no. This was was before when uh, I think we missed that penalty uh, of the other team, the last the last team, the yes, last match. So my chat is not. So we have now the Turkish coming over the corner, trying to be in position of the ball. Yeah. That's the thing. You shouldn't lose the the ball because then it's it? from that to a counter attack from Norway is almost is a millisecond. Yeah. As you said, they are close to the goal, the mole, but the whites, the egg are still, the ball is going and going, uh, still going. Now, now they, they have three yeah, and the one. Three yeah. and, the, and there is a goalkeeper from mole. Super chaotic right now. It's a lot of stress in the basket of mole. There's n just uh, goal. I mean, they recover the ball and now they are in the counter attack and uh, Hopefully, when they have a minute, then they will position the camera a little bit better. They're being kicked, so they move a little bit, and they are now in the surface. It's a free throw against the Turkish team, and one of the Molde, also typical Norwegian tactic, they stole the basket, mm -hmm. and um, where's the ball? I can't wait. see. Wait for the ball. Well, that was a risky, but the uh, Turkish team defends very, very well. And now in the counter attack, they're already on the side of, of the Norwegian team. Yeah. But all the Norwegians okay. are already positioned. No? I mean, uh, I'm not. It's a stressful because the, the, the Turkish team also knows how to play and is attacking. I think the camera of the surface is frozen. Now we have the captain against the goalie, one on one, and now still on position of the ball, trying to pass it down. But it's amazing, you have the feeling that it's playing 10 against 10 against, uh, instead of 6 against 6. It's so much, so much muscle movement. and people, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> big guys on the water. You can't even see the ball, but yeah. you know, it must be in the middle. Now it's like a chance. Yeah, and it's very quick, coming two of the defenders, or two guys defending from Molde. So. Are we going to the surface now? No. Going down again. 
Well, the difference between these matches in the surface and the other matches is these guys are using the three dimension to use lo longer lines of diving and avoiding the other players, but not because Struggling. they are fighting, you know, yeah. exactly. They didn't start. I don't think we see that here today. End of the half time. So a three minute pause in between the games and now they're going to change sides. Again for the people that just uh, switch in, as you can see Molde playing in blue is winning against Ege University. You cannot read that uh, very well on the, on the screen. It's zero 04, zero 04 Molde. This is the fourth game of the day. I'm here with Beate. <laughs> 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 and we are I'm trying to entertain you. Lorena, what do you think? Do they still have chance? Ege? Um, Ege to win? No, I don't think so. Oh. I mean, 4 0 and 10 minutes to go. With 10 this minutes is really it's, hard. It's because the problem is it's, it's not effective time. It is continuous. So the, the time mm. is not stopped when there's any kind of, when it's goal or when there's a fall. Mm. It's continuous. The 10 minutes run constantly, which is different from the normal games, right? This is because sure. we have a lot yeah. of teams. And would be the best chance to really right from the beginning in the first 10 seconds make the goal. The first one for and Norway <laughs> probably. <laughs> what do you think the the, um, the Turkish team has a chance to to win? I think I'm, maybe I'm they could always positive, but I you're think quite maybe right. one or hard. two goals could be yeah. maybe possible to do. It could be possible, but not win, not a winning. Mm. They have been really. It's, 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 they are uh, oh, okay. Something happened. We have a uh, green off. Okay, there we back. Um, so, but uh, Molde is still. No, Christian. What do you say? Christian Schaefer is uh, from Denmark, and uh, he's always commenting and helping us and giving their opinions. And so, apparently, even if uh, he mentioned that they, they were missing some key players, so uh, by now that I mean Molde is throwing fine. Uh, it doesn't look that uh, the players uh, are being missed uh, in a way that it is working out. The tactic and everything is, is working fine. Mm. We have 13 uh, male teams. They are distributed into four groups. Mm -hmm. um, we are with watching the games of the group D. Well, we have Molde, Ege, Zurich, and Frog from Bordeaux. Yeah, Bordeaux, France, the first time ever in history, French team playing in the Champions Cup. That's so fantastic. So we're so excited and so happy. And I think also we have the, let me see. Well, no, no, that's okay. The rest, uh, it says four groups for the male teams and it's three groups for the female girls. I mean, the females are 10 teams and the males are 13 teams, so a total of 23 teams, which is a lot of teams. You can see that we have the World Cup just a few months ago and well, a lot of traveling for the teams. Okay, but here Still we are in a good training shape. So I think the players playing in the national teams as well most of them exactly well because of the, these are the top teams of each yeah. country so that's why that they have been a you know, big competition in in august for the world cup and now they're here so um, okay thomas schenkel is asking about apparently molde has two players from alessund and these I will clear with, with Divine. I don't know what's the stand of the situation, Thomas, and hopefully I can come back to you guys and inform you because we're trying to keep the team clean and so that, okay. you know, the team of the of the club plays and they don't have, a, we had in the past a lot of mixed uh, teams coming with best players from other teams, so the idea of the Champions Cup it is really the team playing. So we have now more the attacking. Close to, close to the goal. Better, you can okay. tell me to shut up when you want to say something. Don't be polite. I'm sorry. I'm just. I'm used to be like this because of Wolf. <laughs> <laughs> oh. mm, over hard uh, game apparently. Uh, so this is going to be free throw for the Turkish team. And this is what I mean. Look, they they have now a free throw. 
and uh, we still have the, the time running. Okay. Yeah. So the need is super important to yeah. hurry up. I think actually. you're quite right. It's already gone the chance to do something. Yeah, it was already they started already. Okay, the free throw. All right. Yeah. Uh, let's see. It, it would be important for the Turkish team to really be in control of the ball and trying to pass. And uh, so if maybe they, they can create one gap and maybe score. There's a free throw apparently, another free throw three meters away from the basket this time for the Turkish team. Yeah, Thomas, I, I, I know exactly what you mean, so I also am not completely sure about how true, but I'm, I'm going to check. I know that Wiener really controls the teams and try to have a, a knowledge about all the things, but of course, you know, <laughs> it's difficult sometimes. Sound is really bad for me too. Anton, okay. It's uh, what, when you describe and you say it's bad. I mean, it's because it's the metallic, there's interfering. What what is the the bad? I mean, how would you find bad? <laughs> um, and we need this feedback. Uh, keep us posted because here we we hear each other fine actually. So uh, let me see if I can. I'm going to put better start talking. So I'm going to go out with the microphone. I'm going to listen for the live stream directly this day. So uh, I, we try. So still Egg attacking and really I think they are doing well. They are passing not losing ball but Mulder is like a bit more explosive, a bit more quicker, just a bit but that's a changing part. Then they make the goal going forward, they keep the goal and can do the counter. Now we don't see the other side, here we are. Just a bit more when you're much more quicker than the other one and you have the chance. Egg is really defending hard. And keeping the ball already, although two molders are attacking. So right. really good. Egg is really doing a good job. But Molly is just that point quicker, better, faster, so to say, and hard. And it's really changing fast from side to side. It's really high concentration and as well you need really high strong condition to do so. I'm back better. Thank yeah. you for holding. <laughs> I was checking. just passing the information to the technicians about the sound, so they're checking on that. Thanks so much. Um, let's wait some minutes and see if they can work. Wow, oh, wow, wow, great save from the Turkish nice. end. And <laughs> wow, I have to applaud. That was fantastic. I mean, it was really like ping, ping, ping. Yeah. It was like a ping pong. <laughs> it was. And still there was the other team partner, the team member, to do the final goal. Great. And that's really, that was, uh, th it was great that the, the, the Molde player really tried to do the score from above. He was about maybe one and a half, two meters above. And then the, the goalie just, or the one player, just managed to put the hand and put it up. And then the next one, the player was there and finally did the job. So we have a timeout, um, apparently, for AG University. And if the Turkish team is only eight, it looks like... Yeah, I mean, we don't know if, it's, you know, sometimes last minute people get sick or they get injured. You know, how many times happened the last training before it's the big tournament? Like so, um, yeah. 
I, I'm, I have the list of the teams here, but they are so like so tiny that I, oh, I have to read from my glasses. But <laughs> yeah, since a few months it's I need to wear glasses, and it's just um, imagine that all <laughs> team member names are on one page. Yes, from 23 teams. Yes, so and so, so imagine the size. <laughs> it is tiny, 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 and hard to hard to read. Let me see. And also, those lists are giving a few weeks ago, so if there's a modification or anything, then we don't know. Because actually, they had 15 people. They had 15 people actually on the normal list. This is the kind of thing that sadly, sometimes we don't get this information, so we cannot give you all these kind of facts. So we are now back in the game. Three and a half minutes, five zero now for Molde. Um, the Turkish team is was is <laughs> was attacking, and we have now the counter attack. And you can see already how you know the Molde guys go up and then down. Um, to use the three dimension of the pool, they do that a lot. Mm. But uh, the the forechecking of the Turkish had work apparently because we are now in in the surface and went to the other side and they are attacking now. I would like to say hey to all the Turkish community. Thanks so much. Uh, communicate at least between among you. We, we don't speak Turkish, oh. so it's nice to see you there. And uh, the Turkish team is doing a great, you know, the fighting. They're, you know, keeping up with the game and really coming. And consistently and it's, a, it's you know still five, I mean five zero it's it's, it's, a, it's an amazing result and if you think you know it's just two time ten minutes running time um, it's, it hasn't been really a super easy match for Molde I mean they have been a stronger team they have been much accurate I mean with the, with the counter attacks they were like you know Go counterattack. Go. I mean, consequently, so to say. Yeah, very, very effective. And coming, very effective. going, doing. Oh, what I really like from Ege is that they are reacting. And uh, another gold. Okay, this was not. The, this is the, this is the very uh, the, the, the Norwegian team. Also, the women are super. Uh, you like hey. my glasses? <laughs> <laughs> I'm Ooh. sorry. Well, you'll see because otherwise, look. This is this is the size of our name list. If Hard you can't read. read it, don't think yeah. we can better. So yeah. that's why we both were in glasses. Uh, hi everybody, well, we have 150 people reasons. watching. Yeah. Thank you for being here. Exactly. Let me see. So now so one, one minute. minute left. It would be really great to have them scored even once. Last seconds to go, and Molde is still having, not having. They are on the now in the corner, yeah. Okay. The ball is now free throw, yeah. switch but 30 seconds left they are really attacking we really like try I think that's the moment where they all stay down oh we need to tell the players not to be in front of the camera we need to put a sign okay five seconds left that's, I think, yeah, free throw for the Turkish team, but that won't be enough time. So 6-0 mm -hmm. for Molde. But look, I mean, Molde has done, I believe, four, four goals on the first time and two goals on the second, right? If I remember correctly. And it was really a hard game. Yeah, but, but I mean, the university was not easy, although no, they, they defend so many goals. They defend right. uh, better, I mean, the second half because they just score, had two goals. Right, yeah. but uh, great job. 
Um, absolutely. Very nice match. So I'm going to write down. I keep the, you know, I have my, my, you know, all the information so I can be updated with the, okay. with the results in the group. Remember, we're here in the group game and uh, we have four groups for the male teams and we just watch the game for um, the group D. Now, coming up, the next game is uh, Hebelina. <laughs> That's the Finnish names, my favorite ones, together with the Turkish to pronounce. And um, Bude Jovice, the Czech team. So it's coming up. Uh, the Hemelina is going to be playing blue and Bude Jovice is going to be playing in white. And I think since the last year challenge, uh, we all speak better uh, Finnish. So thank you so much. We need to continue practicing. Yeah, Czeske, Bude okay. Jovice. We can and, try to um, say. Yusi, Janne, Rico, Marco, Yari, Rami, Janne, Anti, Heiki, Victor, Alexei, Yuri, Kai, Aku, and Anti. And I, maybe you spell out the others. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you, uh, you just read the, um, Sir, uh, the, the first names. The Hebelina. Ah, okay. Perfect. So, Czeski, Budečovice. We have the, the, I'm going to say the first names, okay, because uh, it's, it's faster. Number five is Jan, number seven is Philip, number 11 is Yaroslav, number 13, Martin, number 23, Thomas, number 26, Jakub, 31, another Philip, which tool, the first Philip was uh, Rotna, and then 44 is Thomas, uh, 47, Jakub Veltka, the other was Jakub Sitschek. And the 55 is Alex, and 57 is Pavel, and 59 is the set, a third Jakob <laughs> Fielstein, and 65 is Josep. And I hope I kind of pronounce uh, the names in a proper way. So this is at least the list we've been given. I don't know if there have been any modification last minute because of injuries or uh, illnesses or... Um, things which happens you never like to but they, they that, that's reality sometimes you show up in a tournament with just a half of the team which is not good but that's the way it is so well, I think it was like um, for Ege just two guys on the, on the seats outside so in total it were eight guys playing but we are can't be sure about that because we don't see the full area. No, we, we see the full hour area. Right now we have oh, right. uh, five wounds. Oh, yeah, five. Um, yeah, um, but in the previous game was just three. Two guys from Ega outside. Three. Three? Okay. No, two. Two? Or three? So they I, I think two. Full, full, yeah. like coming with a full sure. team. So but we, we know it was a hard game. Yeah, but we ha but we had 15 in there, so I don't know what happened. If actually, yeah. if if they came with eight and we have 15, that means there's seven players missing. I mean, for the last game. But right now we have yeah, the yeah. Finnish team, as we said, in blue. Uh, and they apparently they came also on oh no, with 15. Thank you. Okay, now we have a larger 